Hello and welcome to the Real Agents of Change interview series where we celebrate and acknowledge those people in the world who are actually walking their walk and being the change that they want to see. And Patrick Keeler actually is the best agent of change that I've met all year, really taking this seriously and wanting to leave legacy for thousands, millions of people. Patrick, tell us a little bit about what is the legacy that you're wanting to leave? Great question, Cammie. Uh, so my legacy that I'm going to leave is uh, one to the youth of our country and those that are in need, the homeless, um, the people that need mentorship, um, because I found through my volunteering through the years, um, just for sake of example, Big Brother, Big Sister program, um, Special Olympics volunteer, Capital Area Region Food volunteer, Ending Hunger Project volunteer. And so these are things that I've done over the years. And when Cammie shared this with me about a month ago, I realized that I could take my giving to these folks in this community to a, a much higher level in, um, and leave you know, contributions in the hundreds of thousands of dollars to each one of these programs and people that I, in the community that I care about. Uh, I was blessed to have great parents that raised eight sons and um, they were always volunteering. And so we were all over the place with my folks between Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And my mother was a Brownie leader, even though she had eight boys and no girls. So she got a dose of <laughs> girls in there. But those are the things that I was um, instilled in me as a young kid. So those, like I look at it, how can I be a good mentor of those things that I know? So that's going to be my legacy. And, um, you know, I met, met a friend back in college, Robin Dixon. He's a Mattapan inner city guy. I'm a country boy. Long story short, Robin got out of school and created Project Rise back in 1993 that um, brings together volunteer teachers to catch kids up for six weeks. But so if they're grade behind, where the dropout rate is over 65% in a city, Boston, he's now graduated. And Rise is short for respect, in integrity through success and uh, education. He's now had over 400 kids graduate college and some of the kids are on his staff now. So uh, YMCA, my, uh, the Friends program, I was a big brother. And Jim Doremus and I were together for 17 years. He did another 20 at the Concord Y, just retired. So he's put me in touch with the six, you know, the Granite Foundation for the six uh, largest YMCA's in the state of New Hampshire. So I'm reaching out to their fundraiser JR and sharing this. And so those are a couple examples. So uh, and Cami has just created just a, a wonderful opportunity through our legacy listing program. There's a book that's coming out. Uh, we actually have a national um, legacy listing month, uh, all of April, 2022. So watch for that. Cami's coming up here to the Northeast. We're gonna be doing some live events uh, here in New Hampshire and Massachusetts and Maine. Um, and I'm just really excited to roll this out to the folks that it's really gonna have an impact to help them help their passionate uh, folks that they want to help with, whoever that is, whether it's Cancer Society, um, veterans groups, etc. Well, let's share with our viewers exactly what we're bringing to them, because you're really passionate about nonprofits, but they're probably thinking, yeah, so what the heck are you going to do for us? Do you want to give us a little taste of charitable gifting of real estate and why it will benefit the nonprofits, the donors and the realtors? Well, it'll pale in comparison to how well you share it, but I'll do my best. <laughs> 1917, the IRS created the 1031 tax exchange to help out with the war effort, um, which is wonderful. And right now there are currently 1.3 million nonprofits and growing every day that would love to take gifts from donors. However, most of the gifts are in cash because unfortunately a, a donor can't take a, uh, give you an example of a, one that we just closed a while back, $3 million strip mall, mom and dad left it to the kids. It had a million dollar mortgage, needed a new roof and uh, was 70% vacant. So we have within our um, family here or partnership, uh, realty gift funds. They're a specialized nonprofit that takes that property in, fixes the roof, pays off the mortgage, brings it back to full capacity. And what resulted was 
um, a $800,000 gift. Mom and dad wanted 18 of their nonprofits to split that $800,000 gift. And single family homes now that are selling um, per transaction result in a $550,000 donation to a nonprofit. On commercial properties, it's a $900,000 gift from one transaction. And we are the real realtors and the real agents of change that are taking these listings provided to us by sourcing these properties and realty gift funds will season those properties and make them liquid assets for the nonprofits so they can go buy a homeless shelter or building that they can turn into a homeless shelter instead of a, a, a $3 million uh, strip mall out in California. So how'd I do? <laughs> <laughs> and we make well, full commission. So we're making our, you know, whatever 6% or whatever the percentage is that we take and also a little bit higher for commercial and we're getting paid full commission without having to door knock, um, hop up in balloons and Remax <laughs> or anything yeah. else or do $20 raffles, which we all do. And that's wonderful. Uh, we had our community day dip back on October 6th here in New Hampshire and we raised 438 pounds of food that'll feed 588 families. But I told the director, Nancy Millette, wouldn't it be great if I can show up here in a few months and hand you a check for $550,000? Well, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we are doing uh, Zooms that are live that we are inviting anyone watching this video to participate in. Whether your nonprofit needs funding whether you as a property donor would like to avoid capital gains tax and fund the nonprofit you love, or whether you're a real estate agent who says, wait a minute, charitable gifting of real estate. You mean I can get paid a full commission to help people give real estate away? If you're one of those types of folks, we want to invite you to come learn with us how this works. This is a $9 billion a year industry that is going to 29 billion dollars in other words all those billions of dollars that are being donated to nonprofits every one of those pieces of real estate that's donated needs to be listed and liquidated by a realtor so we are helping the whole community to make money making a difference in a win-win-win scenario so what are your what are your last words, Patrick, for our viewers that are gonna be seeing us on Zoom or live in a room when I come to New Hampshire, Massachusetts and Maine in December? Well, you're invited, every one of you, whether you're a realtor, uh, a real estate broker, an investor, a lender, a title company, or just somebody who has a passion, has their own 5013C, come and join us and we're going to have live events. We're going to have more Zooms like this specifically for for you. So stay tuned. Um, but uh, you want to register for our mini Zoom presentation, which we have. Uh, and it's uh, 45 minutes. You want to block your time off. Cami does a great mini presentation for 25 minutes. And we open the mics up and have a Q&A afterwards. So please join us and learn more about this. It takes me about four or five times before I retain anything and get it from here to here and can give it away. So uh, join us. And uh, by the way, Rob Dixon's goal of Project Rise this year is to raise $1 million. And I said, uh, Rob, we want to set our sights a little higher with that after I show you what we're doing here to help nonprofits. So true. Well, it's an honor to be coming back to the New England marketplace where my license uh, has hung proudly for the last 20 years as a real estate agent. And uh, to be able to help our New England marketplace and nonprofits get funded in the hundreds of millions is something that we can do together as a tribe. So we will see you as we are educating and informing and certifi certifying people for charitable gifting of real estate. See you soon.